Bauer, senior writer for Real Time Fantasy Sports, and welcome to another another edition of the Real Time Fantasy Sports Show. On today's show, I'm going to give you five possible waiver wire ads for week seven of the fantasy football season. Yes, we're in week seven already. That's pretty much the halfway point for most of you in your leagues. Hopefully you're doing well and having a lot of success. But if you're looking for someone to add this week, I would consider these five players. All right, my first possible waiver wire ad is Dallas Godert of the Philadelphia Eagles. So Godert has been out of the lineup since week three because of an ankle injury. He's due back very soon. He's eligible to return from injured reserve this week. Might not come that come back this week because they play the Thursday night game, but either way, he's really close. And when Godert's on the field, he has huge upside in this lineup, especially since Zach Ertz is likely out at least a month of action with his injury. So Godert will be starting when he returns the field and he can be huge in a starting role for Philadelphia. He had a huge hundred yard showing the first week of the season, scored 24 fantasy points. He was dropped in many formats because of his injury. He's available in almost half the leagues on our site. 48% of leagues have him out there. So if you're looking for a tight end, I would consider adding Godert going forward. All right, my next waiver wire ad. This is one just came over. It's breaking news. Tua Tega Viola takes over as a starting quarterback for Miami. So Tega Viola is not going to start this week because the Dolphins are on a bye, but he will start in week eight against the Rams when they return from their bye. And he must be ready to go because Ryan Fitzpatrick's been playing pretty well for Miami. They're in the thick of the playoff race as well. So I think this bodes well for Tua's status. He must be doing a lot in practice. Coaching staff feels he probably is ready to go and can make an impact on the field. So remember, he's a bit of a dual threat, can make plays with his legs. The Dolphins like to throw the ball as well, too. So I think he has some value for fantasy teams going forward. He's definitely worth a speculative ad. I don't think he's a guy you just plug in your fantasy lineup but he definitely could be a player that makes an impact down the stretch for fantasy teams. So if you're looking for a sparky quarterback, I would consider adding Tua. That's very exciting though, to see him in the lineup. I think it's going to be an exciting Miami team to watch the rest of the way. Uh, just aside from fantasy, uh, fantasy news, I think just as a football fan, it's going to be neat to see Tua in the lineup. Let's talk about my next waiver wire ad Boston Scott with Philadelphia. So Scott has done about nothing all season, but he's going to be set up for more work going forward because Miles Sanders is banged up. He probably won't play this week because, as I mentioned with Dallas Godert, they are on a short, short week. They play Thursday, so I think Scott will start for the Eagles this week. And anybody in a starting role has fantasy value, especially someone like Scott, who's a dual threat. He can make some plays in the passing game, also do pretty well between the tackles. So I think he's worth an add, especially if you're looking for a running back for this week. He could get it done with more touches. My next waiver wire ad is J.D. McKissick with Washington. So McKissick has reached double-digit fantasy points three straight games. He tied a season high in rush attempts last year, which is good news. Last week, I should say, which is good news. He ran eight times for 41 yards. He's already a big part of the passing game. He has at least six catches, three straight games. I think he has some real value as a flex play. He's available in 56% of leagues. He's getting a lot of work catching the ball and so that bodes well for him in PPR formats now he's getting a few more carries as well so I think McKissick is definitely worth worth owning in most formats my last waiver wire ad for week seven is Brashad Perryman with the New York Jets so Perry, Perryman returned from his ankle injury last week led the Jets in receiving he had four catches for 62 yards on eight targets Someone has to lead this team in receiving going forward. I think Perryman's the most talented receiver on the roster. Could be a good fantasy pickup for the rest of the year. He's available in 90% of leagues on our site because he was dropped in most formats because of his injury. I think Perryman could make some noise down the stretch like last season in Tampa. But remember, this Jets offense is not nearly as explosive as Tampa's passing game. So maybe temper your expectations a little bit. Either way, he could lead the team in targets the rest of the season in New York. All right, those are my five possible waiver wire ads for week seven. Good luck in navigating your waiver wires this week and good luck in all of your games in week seven. This has been Jeff Power for Real-Time Fantasy Sports. Have a great day. 